Hey guys, good day to us once again and you're here back at Dexter's World Channel. Today we are going to rehabilitate this pan. Well, I have just done cleaning because this pan has been abandoned for two years now and I'd like to thank the viewers because this pan have 8.4 million views and I decided to rehabilitate this because I made a mistake on the kind of filter I used. So this time, we're gonna have a bigger filter and this one will be now the place for our coils. I have selected breeder coils and I'd like to place them here, right here at the front yard of my house. So we will now build a bigger and more effective filtration system. If you will look at there, I have here a big drum and what I'm planning to do is to make a hole right here for our exhaust pipe and of course we also have to make a hole over here for our drain pipe and we also have some smaller pail I made a hole on this on the top of this of course we also have made a hole right here below and this hole will be connected to our exhaust pipe I will go a little bit high tech now I had to make a hole on this 3 inches pipe. We will measure this one because this will be the inflow pipe. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we will put this like that. Okay, and we will measure this one because we're gonna cut this one yes so I think this mark is already a good measure for us to be sure that the water will not overflow this pipe is more taller than the height of this hill okay so we have done the cutting now yes that's it so, sorry. So what we will do is we will continue making hole right here. So I've already made a marking and uh, since this is very thick so we will use this hand reel. That's a good cut! Yes! Okay, so we have done making a hole at the bottom of this drum. So this will be the hole for our drain pipe. Okay? So we will now proceed to making small holes over here on this hill. I will use this tube to make a hole I heated this with this fire and you can make a hole anywhere. Okay. As simple as this one. Another hole. Okay. So this is now the case. You have a peel that has so many holes around around it. So this is it. So we're gonna fix this one now. First, we have to make sure that this hole here will be aligned to the hole I have made outside. So we will put this one now. Yes. Just like that. The next thing is we will put this exhaust pipe over here. Okay. We'll connect this one. We will cover this with plants. I believe that we can put some plants right here at the front and we will cover this so that it will look natural. Mm. So this is the exhaust pipe. And since we made a mistake, the hole should have been here. But uh, I made an adjustment. I just used this uh, 45 degrees elbow to be attached over here. Okay. Now, we will fix this one with 
our epoxy. We will wait a couple of minutes to dry up and then while waiting we will fix our fish pan. I bought another laminated sack over here. Um, it has already leaked so I am replacing that laminated sack, that old one, with this new laminated sack. Okay. So the technique is when you are fixing this one, we have to put water first so that we can fix this very easily. We will put old water so that we can put our Japanese koi. We cannot use the new water, so we're using now the old water. So guys, we are now putting water and I'm so excited to place now our printer Japanese koi. And these kois are really pregnant and I'm scheduling the breeding of this next week. So that's the, the thing that I promised you. And for the meantime, we will wait for this, maybe around 10 minutes. So if this gonna be filled with water, I will place our submersible pump over here and attach to the filter. I am planning to use this place as the place where we will put our drum. I will remove all these things. I will remove this carabao grasses and these plants and we will put our filter over here. And we will cover that with plants so that it will look natural. So that's the thing that we gonna do. Guys, this is it. We have fill this pan with water already and we will fix the sidings of this. I will just insert the tip of this sack under this gutter and we can fix this one. see that we are almost done fixing the gutter and the edges of this tank and you look at the stones these stones are intended for our filter bags so what's next well the most awaited one the filter bags you look at this it's already very hard and I'm sure that there is no leak anymore so you look at the system inside there is a hole there is a small pill this is connected inside this one so now guys we already have made a good place for for our filtration bags so I think we will cover this now with plants but before that we will put the stones here are the stones that we need to help us in filtering this water so we will use this one now but we will put first bigger stones like this at the side of the small pail are the big stones so that small holes will not be covered. We have also a net here, like this one. Wow, so we are done 90% and we will connect now the hose of this submersible pump 
Well, this is it. I'd like to take a bath. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to take a bath. I'm already very tired, so we will now connect this to the power. So the filtration system is now working. You will see that the water is already flowing out of the filter bags. And what we will do next is to cover this one so that this will not become a disturbance to our site. Well, I wanted that this will look natural. We will place plants. Just like that. And we need some more plants over here. I'm not a good landscaper, but uh, I am just trying to make this pan look presentable. 20 minutes later, we will place our Japanese koi. So guys, we are now at the final stage of our project. And this is to put in here our Japanese koi. So you look at this one. These koi are very pregnant and next week we will breed this one. I am just waiting for the right timing and uh, I believe that next week is the correct timing for us to breed this. Why? Because next week is scheduled to be the new moon and uh, that's my observation that every new moon this koi will really like to lay their eggs. I hope with this new setup of filtration system, we're gonna have a clearer pan of Japanese koi. And we are going to have an update about this pan, maybe next week. But I would like to shout out to Max Max, whose comment had been pinned by Dexter's World staff. And I am so thankful personally to Max Max for your good comments. Your comments on this video that we're gonna pin will be shout out to the next video that we are going to upload. So thank you for watching. I hope you will continue to like and share our videos. And please don't forget to subscribe if you are new to our channel. Hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel. Only here at Dexter's World. <laughs>